Hey folks, Tech with AOK Forging and Adventures here with Brenda. And we are having lunch. Yes, we are. And we are at Littlefield Recreational Area. Yep. As you guys saw in the first video, we uh, did some fishing, didn't do too well. <laughs> but we're going to fish tonight and hopefully do better. We're waiting on some friends, and then we'll be back. Baby, what you doing? Going for a little walk. Yeah? Yeah. Trying to figure out our fishing spot for tonight? Yep. Ooh, look at those blue spruces, babe. Uh -huh. They're beautiful. Yeah. Wow. All right, let's go check it out. Mulberry tree hit that. <laughs> There's a black cherry tree. I mean, a wild cherry tree right here. That one right there. Of course, all the birds ate all the cherries. <laughs> oh, this nice opening. There's the picnic table. And a park bench. Brenda, what are you doing? Trying to eat a walnut. Oh, because we have a ton of walnuts everywhere. Walnut trees have been hit. I mean, the walnuts have been hitting my car, hitting our tarp, everything. Thank goodness none of them has taken us out yet. <laughs> well, look who finally showed up, folks. It's Laurel. Hey, everybody. Well, folks, since Laurel just got here, you know that means it's time to open a beer, right? Um, <laughs> so, one for you, one for her, one for you, two for Tack. Look at that. <laughs> All right, folks, we are going to have Fire Trucker Brewery. Uh, yep, it's in Ankeny, Iowa. Ankeny, Iowa. It's called Brigade Ale. Now, who's got glasses on? I do not. You gonna read it? Oh, I can read this one. Okay. Call in the fire brigade. This pre-prohibition style golden ale from the dawn of the horseless carriage or in era, era yeah. is maize colored with a slightly sweet nose and just a hint of orange and juniper berries. Ooh. A clean tasting beer with a weedy finish and lingering sweetness that will keep you coming back sip after sip. Well, this beer a born on date. Well, and this has 5.2 ABVs and 26 IBUs, no OGs. No OGs. I did a lot of people did comment, and I pinned Lee's comment on the other one when we uh, were trying to figure out because he really knows. Well, this is a golden <laughs> ale. Golden ale. Let's try, guys. All right. You insist. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Tack. Oh. How's it smell? I'm smelling it. It's a very very mild smell. But smell then again, fruit. I have. Fire smoke. It wants to get in on the beer tasting. Mm, I do smell <laughs> a hint, hint, hint of orange peel, but that's mm -hmm. about it. Huh. 
I like it. What do you think? What do you guys think? It is a lighter, dark tasting beer. Oh. It tastes darker, but it's really light. Mm-hmm. That's my taste. And I, I taste uh, So folks, look who's here. This is Judy. This is Laurel's uh, wife. I have not signed a release. There's no RI. There's no release <laughs> signing, <laughs> right? Who cares? <laughs> Okay, so that's the only time we're filming her because she doesn't want to be filmed. Oh, that's all right. Oh, look! Ha ha! <laughs> Your Laurel's better half, right here. Ha ha ha! She agrees. <laughs> so she just got here right after we finished setting up the tent. Pretty soon we will get dinner going, but we're probably just going to sit around and catch up, get to know each other a little better. We will not film that part because there's a lot of <laughs> adult stuff that goes along with that. All right, folks, we will come back when we start filming yeah, supper. Or... We're back and we're going to do another beer. We are doing something from Front Street from Davenport, Iowa. Who do we have in Davenport, Iowa? We have no one. Oh, my God. We actually have no one in Davenport, Iowa. Lori. Okay. Is she, a, is she a viewer? Well, she's a great subscriber. Hey, Lori, make sure you subscribe to my channel because Judy just gave you a shout out. There you go. <laughs> and she's, she's oh. an avid kayaker. She's oh, an she's, avid kayaker. Yeah. Oh, wow. This is only, this is 5.4 alcohol by volume, but only 15 IBUs. I was originally, original brew pub. Look at that. I don't, is there something to read? Nope. No, nothing hmm. to read. Cherry Ale Malt Beverage. Yeah, the mm. malt beverage part I didn't really realize. All right. Okay. All right. Here we go. Water, hops, barley, yeast, natural. So the, the, the wives uh, have decided they will just taste ours. Well, I don't know if Judy will. Oh, Ooh. I always taste. Okay. It's not that I don't like some of them. Mm. It's just not what you I smell the cherry. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. I smell the cherry. All right. Here we go. Oh, cheers. Mm. <laughs> My bad. It's cherry. <laughs> cherry what was cough your syrup. First impression? Cherry <laughs> cough syrup. Oh no. Oh, cherry cough syrup. Which there you means go. Judy, oh, no. Judy will like it. That's ridiculously cherry. Yeah. It's yeah. very cherry. Oh, I would definitely down that. that that's so okay, nice. you can. Go ahead. <laughs> we have. Another beer. With a woman on it. Yes. <laughs> because this is actually our first time actually camping all female. So I thought this beer would, um, this beer right here would be appropriate. It's called Iowa Fest. Fest beer. See, I sound German when I do that. <laughs> you totally do. You're the most German Asian I've ever met. There you go. <laughs> Anyways, it's certified as an independent graph. And it's brewed in Iowa. It is brewed in Cedar Rapids. Hmm. Okay, it is. Well, well, well. Oh, a brewing company. Five point. Is that an eight? That is an eight. Yeah, 5.8 hmm. alcohol by volume. So this is the yeah, one that may get us more drunk. <laughs> so, ready? It has no story, no nothing, so just pop it and drink it. Ooh, look at that yellow foamy stuff coming up there. It's very yellow. And there's a lot of smoke in my face, so I cannot <laughs> smell a darn thing. Anyways. It's malty. It smells malty. <laughs> Tastes like a Budweiser. I'm kind of not impressed. Wow. Oh my gosh, the smoke. I thought it would have a lot more flavor based off the smell. There we go. I couldn't smell anything because of the smoke. And I can't taste anything. You might want to try it. I don't know. It's, it's kind of boring. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if it's quite as boring as that other one. No, had. it is not as boring as River River. But you did it. It's too hoppy. 
Hoppy. That's hoppy. hoppy? It's not hoppy. It's not hoppy. It's not hoppy. It's not hoppy. See, okay. you and I don't know I what hoppy I need water does. in my beer. Second. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Woo-hoo! Good job, babe. Not big enough. Not big yeah, enough not to keep, long. but... I can see ya. Right. Oh, there you are, honey. Good job. All right, so Laurel's got a fish. Sorry, guys. Oh, wow, it is a nice, it's way bigger than Brenda's. All right, stop right there. There we go. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh, there we go. Yeah. Oh, it's recording now. Hey, what do we got here? Okay, what, hey, you're hiding it. I got a new camera woman. Oh, yeah, let, yeah let's hold Judy. it up. We're, you're down Judy. low. I got it, I got it right here. Oh, there oh, we go. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, bring that in close to the camera. Gill. It gets bigger it's a, all the time. It's, it's a bluegill right there. <laughs> all right, folks. So tonight's supper is fajitas and Spanish rice. So I got some bell pepper here, two different colors. I got tons of onions. And I have a really, really nice top sirloin that I'm going to cut up. And so here we go. And then we have some wild rice right here going on. Got some sour cream. We got some tortillas. Of course, low carb tortillas. We are going to eat. Well, folks, supper was fantastic, was it not? Oh, yeah. Fantastic. That was fantastic. Campfire cookie. You can't beat it. And then Laurel here and Brenda put some colorful crap that's going to pollute the world <laughs> into our fire. And They're powdered, aren't they powdered? And, 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 and Judy freaking changed her clothes without us even knowing. <laughs> so, so far, great evening, great fellowship, great friendship. Folks, we'll see you guys in the morning, all right? Well, folks, it's time for breakfast. bacon big big layer of bacon then we're gonna put the O'Brien potatoes on a little bit of cheese some on extra onions and then the eggs will go on top go ahead say it well folks we got breakfast on <laughs> they make really hard on our appetite look at them <laughs> they work so hard on this breakfast I think they deserve a nap so Judy and I decided to go on a walk. Hi Judy. Anyways. We got a follower. Hi. Well hi there buddy. Are you checking this out? Hi. 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 Can I pet you now? Oh yeah. You're a beautiful doggy. Hi doggy. But where's your owner at? Are you going to show us around? Farm dog from back there. Are you going to show us around? You making sure you're <laughs> Oh. <laughs> You are a beautiful doggy. You gonna you gonna lead the way? Can you smell the pines? Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 Go ahead. Cousin backs? Nope. They are not. These are dryad. No, no, not dryads, because dryad saddle is turkey back. These are not. These are just uh, shelf horse hoof, oh. horse hoof fungus. So yeah, I was hoping. Man, that would be great fry up meal. Yeah, we'd have them. A, yeah, butter. Yummy, but they weren't. Let's see what the overlook looks like and then go that way. Oh, fantastic. Sounds good. Oh. Those are those poisonous yeah. ones again. Clusters of four. Oh, that's nice. 
We actually look like we're on top of the world. You said I was flat and torn too. Mm-hmm. Rarely ever find ghost pipe in Iowa. And look at what we just found. Oh, aren't they just beautiful? <laughs> Isn't that beautiful? Oh. Beautiful. So we finally happened on to an old dryad saddle, pheasant back. <laughs> and the dog says, no, don't pick him. <laughs> After our hike, we ran into Laurel and Brenda and just took the car home because it started raining. And so we left the breakfast in the skillet and I came home, knocked off the coals off of here, but look at that. Look at that yummy cheese goodness. <laughs> well folks, we are finally sitting down to brunch and with this awesome brunch, look at that, right there, uh-huh, right? Anyways, we are going to have a D-I-P-A, what the heck is it? Double IPA. No, double IPA. <laughs> so, let's crack it open and find out what's going on with it there. You know what the double part means. More hops? I don't know. Or something, but not hops. But this one it happens to be an IPA, so it is pretty. <coughs> Holy! Mm. All right, so. <laughs> Holy! Are you... It says 8.5 oh, alcohol. Oh, did you hear that? 8.5. Holy cannoli! 90 IBUs. Woo! Tropical burn. Tropical burn. Oh, Mango oh, double IPA. Something. Mango. It's by Fire Truck or Two. Mm -hmm. It's all it's for all you dippes. It's a hazy. <laughs> for all you dippes. Oh. Citrus <laughs> flavors. Well. Oh my goodness! You just smell. We've got another woman. Oh. Laying on the beach. You know this is so appropriate. And we're eating right by the beach. It's all women weekend. It is. It's all and women weekend, and we've got all women on our beers. Can you guys hear that? That's the thunder. That's why we're in the shelter eating. Oh, geez, I don't want really this. So we'll have to do another picture since I had a picture of the goat pro on my head. <laughs> but anyways, let's drink it and taste it. I smell citrus a lot. Oh my god! What? Laurel! What? You're killing me, girl! No. <laughs> it's starting to hail on my car. My car is over there. Let me this one. This piece is already starting to melt, so look at that. That is a nice piece of big chunk of hail right there. Oh boy. Well, it finally stopped raining. And as you guys can see, man, the sun is out. It's supposed to be high in the 80 something, around 84 or something like that. We went into a little town called Xera and we had a little bit of lunch because all the firewood, everything was wet. We're back and I don't know. We, I don't know what we're doing next. We might just be packing up and getting ready to go. But I'll come back to you and let you know. All right, folks, thank you so much for watching. We had a fantastic time out here. If you guys like this type of video, please smash that bell. Make sure you're subscribed to us for future notifications. Folks, I want to thank Judy over here for, Judy right here for coming out, <laughs> Laurel for coming out, and of course, my wife for coming out. Folks, thank you all so, so much for watching. Until next time, may, may all your adventures be A-OK. -okay. 
We need to get him some t-shirts. Go Big Red. Oh, no. <laughs> According to Untapped, the Iowa Fest... The Tell her to talk louder because the car's going by. In the wilderness. But it's the campground so close to the road. <laughs> <laughs> When are you going to produce a bloopers reel? That's what I want to know. I really can't. No, here. Put one here. In fact, you've never seen me after half a beer. <laughs> well, I did mention earlier that you were... Video please. <laughs>